Hey there. Well, occasionally I will buy a domain name when I'm sort of having a fantasy about, well, what if I created this website? And what if I did this or that? And I decided recently that I'd go through some sort of fantasy of if I was to have created a website that's a competition to YouTube in the sense of the type of videos that are all about esoteric con uh, content, esoteric subjects, and people being able to be mean if they wish. The ponage videos, the mean-spirited videos, the hateful videos, even stuff that under almost any definition of racism could be considered racist, almost under def any definition could be considered sexist or homophobic or heterophobic or, or any of that. And so I bought the, the domain name freedomvids.com. I haven't done anything with it. I just bought the name and, you know, it's just sitting there. But um, I'll, I'll leave a link to this uh, video that I made a while back of, like, I made this mock-up of what I think would have been cool at the time if YouTube had a layout like like what I was going to mention. But uh, I'll just kind of ramble about some of it now. Um, and, and more than it, just just, just do a ramble. Like, I, again, I wish I had something more solid to give you than this rambly, long-winded video. But, uh, okay. Imagine if there was a site that the entire premise is for making videos that are about esoteric content, controversial content, things that normally would not be accepted on other platforms. Um, and so you'd have, like right now, the way things are on YouTube, you have a very limited amount of things that you can list your video as. In fact, let me, let me go specific on this. Let me, let me go to... Uh, uh, let's edit this, and then I'll see what the listings of the types of videos you can make. Do, do, do. Okay, we've got film and animation, autos and vehicles, music, pets and animals, sports, travel and events, gaming, people and blogs, comedy, entertainment, news and politics, how-to and style, education, science and technology, and nonprofits and activism. And most of the time, people end up, when they want to talk about esoteric subjects, they either have to put it in people and blogs or news and politics, which isn't very descriptive of those things. And, you know, I'm thinking about how if it was laid out more like a, a forum, a political forum. And uh, so you'd have all these things under politics, all these subcategories under politics. You could have religion versus anti-religion, anti-religion, SJWs, anti-SJWs, feminism, anti-feminism, uh, Black Lives Matter, anti-Black Lives Matter. It just, just all these just different categories that you could have videos put into. And people could vote, hey, uh, put this ca new category in there. And then if enough people vote to have this new category, it's added. And then you can you could list your videos as being under this new category. Um, another one would be, another thing about it would be um, different ways that you can list videos. For instance, you could you could look for people's videos just under particular categories or subcategories. Right now, they make that really difficult. They do. Right now, you can't even uh, you can't even go to someone's channel and say, "I want to see all videos that are comedy. I want to see all their videos that are under this category." No, you can't do it. They don't give you the option for that, you know, on YouTube. So this this site would you know be focusing on those types of things. Um, but you'd have let's say for top lists, right? You'd have, um, you can view videos of, these are the videos that are getting the most views right now. Next one, these are the videos that are getting the most, that, uh, 
have that got the most views at the t during the first two months after they were uploaded. Then you have uh, these are the video these are the most viewed videos of all time on this site. Did you have that one? Then you have these are the uh, the least viewed videos. Um, for the first couple months after they were made. These are the least viewed videos uh, right now. These are the least viewed videos of all time. Um, and then each one of those things you can you can split up by the category, by the you know uh, uh, you know politics or or whatever, right? You can you could list those things that way. This way, there is much more of a chance that anyone uploading videos that their video can be seen in some way because they give it would give you the option to see that right another one uh, bring back video you know have video responses um, have the ability to leave a video comment where it would be about the size of a thumbnail the video would be about the size of a thumbnail and you in order to do it you'd have to uh, be using a webcam or just a mic and you have to record it live either you know with your computer or on a on a smartphone and uh, you know you could have video and audio comments and uh, the only type of uh, censorship that there would be are you know porn type of thing or blatant spam you know spamming this or that product right otherwise it would be completely open um, that sort of thing freedomvids.com and this sort of thing is you know I, I bought this domain name right after some of that controversy was was going on with with the new terms of service I said you know let me just have this little fantasy and uh, it would be nice you know if, if I if I won the lottery right now I would probably use some of that money to start a site like that like I'm talking about here I would um, one of the things that's that's happened in the past, I can't remember what the name, what this site was called. What was it? Blipcast, Vlipcast, Dripcast. Can't remember the fucking name of name of it. Uh, it was trying to be competition to YouTube, but it's like um, you don't be competition to YouTube by making it act and look like what YouTube was in two thousand and five. You don't you don't look to the future by creating something that's like it was in the past. Okay, that's that's stupid, you know. Have it have its own interface. Have the things that are supposed to be important for those that want to create esoteric content uh, right there in the front, right there in the foreground. Um, and then give people much more choice of where the video plays on the screen um, how the layout is when you want to view comments uh, give a lot more choices that way I, this, this whole thing it's, it's another one of these these this a fantasy website sort of like I did that that recent video a fantasy of, of what you know what would be cool if actors played these parks and directors directed these types of movies same type of thing. I mean, this is pretty much a useless video, but uh, it'd be nice if something like this could actually be made. Now, if there is someone who wants that domain name, I, I, I'll part with it for the same amount it costs me to do it, to 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 uh, create it, or I'll. Why would I even? charge anything and if, if it's something that it's someone actually wants to make something from that I would just give it to you you know if you actually want to make something from uh, freedomvids.com hey sure give it away it's fine um, but to me there does need to be some sort of competition to YouTube 
Um, and I may not be that much of a fan of a lot of the content that would even be on there. Um, probably seems kind of weird that I would be supporting something that I don't even necessarily like, but I can blatantly see that this is, there is a niche for this. There is a market for this. There are people that really, really would like to, to, to use something like this. So I thought I'd ramble about it and make a useless video about it. So have a banana. <laughs>